welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a monthly manga haul i haven't posted one in a while so yeah let's just get started so we are currently in the second week of september and i want to show you guys some of the things that i received in the past two three weeks um so starting off with some art prints i picked up quite a few so i'll put the sellers on the screen from the first seller i picked up this robin print if you don't know, if you're not following me on Instagram, I started reading uh, One Piece last month and Robin is my favorite character, but I also got Sanji. He's in my top three. And then from the next seller, I got this Robin print, literally stunning. Uh, this Your One from Spy Family. And then this Ace one was a freebie. So stunning, love the art. And then I got this Robin print. And then from this seller on Instagram, I had waited a while for their shop to reopen, so I ordered a few prints. This first one is Gojo. Stunning. This Chainsaw Man one with Power, Denji, and Aki. Oh, sorry. Camera's not focused. There. <laughs> Another Gojo one. Yuta with Maki and Inumaki. And then this one. <laughs> Ghetto and Gojo. Love this print. So I received three art books recently, so I'll show you guys them right now. Uh, two are official ones and one's a fan art book. So this one's by the artist Kate Art. And this art book includes art from Spy Family, Jujutsu Kaisen, Haiku, Chainsaw Man, and My Hero Academia. I'll just do a quick flip through. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, I love this art book. So glad I picked it up. And then I picked up the After the Rain art book. Uh, this manga has some amazing art. And although After the Rain is not my favorite work by them, I just had to get it because their art is really stunning. I'm just gonna do a quick little flip through. Yeah. Sorry if I'm going through these so quickly <laughs> and then i got the stone with the red hair well actually it's the stone with the red hair manga's illustration book uh this came out during the 20th anniversary of stone with the red hair um i have a post on this on my instagram if you guys want to see more in depth of the photos but i'm sorry you guys couldn't see <laughs> such a stunning art book like it's hardcover it's gilded it's for the packages i got in the mail today let's start with these small ones so i opened this one already i got this i got another fan art book so it's by the artist velvet underscore kt and it's the good morning good night art book it's jesus kaisen it's so stunning i love their art oh and then this is the little letter they gave i'll flip through this because it's not as thick as the other ones this like art page literally <laughs> so broke it broke me <laughs> love these ones this package from mercari today And it 
it's an acrylic stand that I've been trying to find for a while now. And your priority can tell who it is. So it's a Honda acrylic stand. Oh, this little like. No, it's so cute. Orders. So the first one is Blade of the Moon Princess. This is by the same Wonka as Spy Family and Tista. Then I picked up Noragami Volume 26. The series is ending soon. And then we have My Hero Volume 35. And then we have what he who doesn't believe in fate says. I'm gonna get into this volume right after I finish filming because I just recently read volume one and I need to know what happens next. Another volume I'm gonna read ASAP, Yumakoi volume seven. Two more volumes until the series is over. I'm so sad. <laughs> then we have Like a Butterfly, volume two by Sumori Shida. Then we have Tokyo Revengers volumes 13 through 14. It honestly feels like volume one just came out. It's crazy that we're already on this omnibus. What's this omnibus? Seven? It's crazy. Today's clip and I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, so today I have a random haul. I have a bunch of different stuff from a bunch of different shops, but um, I'll get started with Amiyami because that was the biggest package. So the first four things that I got are not here, but I'll show you guys a clip of them. They're the Hunter Hunter and Androids. I got Kilua, Gon, Krollo, and Kurapika. Um, I unboxed this package while I'm live on Instagram. I'm definitely going to be doing more in the future. Um, but continuing from Amiyami, I also got the My Happy Marriage art book. I love this series so much. It's like definitely in my top five now. And then I picked up some other goods. So I got these two like framed art pieces, I guess, but they're like pins, but you can also display them. So I've been displaying them. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I got both. <laughs> I adore them so much. And then I also got this acrylic stand. They're like cheapy versions of themselves, like holding plushies of each other. Literally so cute. <laughs> and then of course, it wouldn't be an Ami Ami haul if I didn't have a Hanji related item. So I got this acrylic stand of Hanji. Then I got some other goods that I already put away, but I'll show you guys them real quick. So the first thing I got is a full set of the Twisted Wonderland uh, Arcana cards. I've been recently obsessed with this game, so I had to pick these up. I picked up some can badges, so I got a full set of the Oshino Co. can badges, which included these. And then, of course, more Twisted Wonderland. I got this set, and I got this one specifically because it had Bill in it. <laughs> So I have two prints to show you. The first one is the Snami one. She looks so pretty. And the oranges. And then I have Miss All Sunday. <laughs> Robin is my favorite character in One Piece. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm currently reading One Piece. So follow me on Instagram to see what I'm reading. These are my first official like pins I guess you could say. Uh, they're of course Oshino Co ones. So Aqua, Ruby, and I. And I love how they're like holding the light sticks. Yeah, definitely gonna be ordering more pins. And I also ordered this 
oh by the way the like backings are hearts um i also ordered this like pin display thing um from an etsy seller thank you katie chan for telling me the shop name i will put their name on the screen and link them down below so i went to kina kunya today and i already showed in my kina kunya haul what i got well kina kunya and barnes um but i'll quickly go over them here so i got yuki's nendo don't know why i don't have him or kyo we'll be getting kyo next as for the manga i'm not gonna unbox this yet because uh, i have two more nendos on the way and i think i'm gonna go insta live and unbox them all so for manga i picked up windbreaker volume one twisted wonderland volume one usatoki rhetoric volume four kakariu volume one and call of the night volume 13. So yeah, that was today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys. So today I have two packages, one from Barnes & Noble and one from Right Stuff. So let's open these up. I got Who Made Me a Princess, Volume 1. Oh, Volume 2, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> and then this is a new manhua uh, from Ice Press. It's Jungle Juice, Volume 1. And then from Barnes Noble, I got My Happy Marriage, Volume 4. Love this series so much. And then Mao volume 13. And the eccentric doctor of the Moonflower Kingdom volume 3. That's today's haul, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys. So it's about a week later, and I had gotten a few packages, but I opened them. Um, but I have one that I did not open, I just arrived today. So I'll show you guys these two items first, and then I'll show you guys the manga. So I have a Nendo, well two Nendos. So the first one I got from Good Smile, and this one I got secondhand. So the one I got from Good Smile is Kyrie from Uzumaki. This is the first Junji Ito Nendroid. And although Tomie is my favorite Junji Ito character, I also still love her. So I bought this in hopes that there will be a Tomie Nendroid in the future. I'm super excited I got this. And then from Makari, I got the Monica Nendroid from Doki Doki Literature Club. I recently finished the game and I knew that I wanted Monica's Nendroid. Uh, she is like $65 on Good Smile, but I found it on Mercari for about $40, so that's why I picked it up from there and free shipping. So yeah, these are the two Nendroids that I picked up. So I got two Manhuas in this haul, so we have The Horizon Volume 2. I thought this was going to be the final volume, but like I was looking back at the pages and it says continued in Volume 3 and I looked into it and volume three comes out in december so yeah we have the horizon volume two super sad story and then my favorite manhua of all time the remarried empress volume four it's so crazy that we're on volume four and it's so crazy that volume one came out like almost a year ago but yeah this is volume four with navir and rashid on the cover navir looks gorgeous as always um let me see i don't know how many volumes this series is gonna be because it's still ongoing it was on hiatus but it started up again and oh my god the newest like chapters are so like ah <laughs> but yeah um i also picked up stray cat and wolf this is by the same manga as cheeky brat i'm not sure if this series is ongoing or not but it looks really interesting and i love their art style 
And then I picked up No Longer Heroin Volume 4, this cover. <laughs> and then I picked up Call of the Night Volume 13. Mirko Chan Volume 8. And then this is a series I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up or not, but I just decided to because I'm such a completionist when it comes to like series and like works done by the same mangaka. So this is by the same mangaka as Imakoi, and I love Imakoi. So I was just like, you know what? I've read this before, but it's been a bit. Uh, it is a longer series. I think it's like 16 volumes or 12 volumes. Uh, so I picked up volumes 1, 2, and 3. 3 just like came out like this week i think it's volume one two and three yeah so that's today's haul and i'll see you guys in the next clip hi guys so today i have a little haul from half price and some new releases as well as some keychains so first off let me start off with the keychains because i went to a local anime store near me which just opened up recently and i picked up two of these jujutsu kaisen keychains and one of these spy family keychains i would have picked up more of the spy families but that's all they had um i already have toge but i got yuta and rika as well as geto Look at how cute they are, they're like painting. So cute. And then I also got Anya. She's so adorable. I really wanted your, but Anya's so cute. <laughs> um, let me start off with the new releases first. First one is Maiden of the Needle, volume one. This is a new series by Yen Press. And I read it, and the end of this volume kind of caught me off guard, so I'm kind of not sure if I really want to continue it. I think I'm going to give it like one or two more volumes. I try not to like end series after one volume. I try to give it at least three volumes. Um, but it's like, I would give it like a six out of ten, maybe a five and a half, maybe six. The art's really good though. And then Alice in Borderland, volume seven. This is the third to last volume. We have two more volumes. And then I picked up Insomniacs After School, volume three. This also just recently ended. And then I picked up Eminon, volume four. So glad we finally have this. And then, I don't really know how to say this one, hashtag DRCL. I know that stands for Dracula, but I read this volume last night, and the art is, first of all, literally gorgeous. Like, let me give you an example. Like, look. It's from the same mangaka as Innocent, which we'll be getting next month, I think. So that's it for the new releases. Now, I went to half price and had no intention of picking up anything, but I found some good things. So, uh, the first series I picked up is Kadocha, Sana's Stage, Volumes 1, 2, 5, and 4. The series is really cute. It's been a while since I watched it. But, yeah, it's I think it's 10 or 11 volumes. But yeah, I got these for $5 each, so really good deal. I'm shocked they didn't hike up the prices like they usually do <laughs> with out-of-print series. And then I picked up Happy Marriage, volumes 1 through 10 minus 4. Older shoulder series, like I remember reading them when I was younger, and they kind of just bring nostalgia, so that's why I collect them. I know maybe it's not a valid reason, but whatever. So I have volume 1, 2... Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. These were also four ninety nine each. So that's today's haul, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys. So this is gonna be the last clip of this video. 
I have some packages from Barnes and then uh, two things arrived from Amazon Japan and then some things arrived from Books A Million. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the Barnes packages really quickly. So let me start off with Amazon Japan. I had two pre-orders. So the first one is the Hori Mia. Uh, I think this is the TV guide. It says graduation album on the back, but I'm pretty sure it's a TV guide. Yeah. Um, for the anime, there is some art, of course. I got the Yumi Tamura 40th anniversary book called Kaleidoscope. If you don't know, this is the manga of Basara, um, Don't Call It Mystery, Seven Seeds, all those series. And yeah, it's just like a anniversary book. There's short stories. There is some art. So sunny love the cover of it all right then for the manga i picked up monthly girls nozaki kun volume 14 this is a new release i don't have all the volumes of monthly girl nozaki kun but i picked up the newest release because i thought why not uh this is not a manga but it's a light novel it's raven of the inner palace volume 3 i'm not a light novel reader but i love this series so much the anime was amazing and it doesn't have a manga adaptation, but I really hope it does. And then I picked up the Demon Slayer Corpse Records. This is the fan book. I'm glad we got this in English. I'm actually shocked we did, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, there's like some... It like tells the story and stuff. And then there is some art here in the back. It's not colored, but... And then short stories as well. And then I picked up I Can't Refuse S. I'm trying to get all of the steamship titles. I'm missing a few though, but this was a new series. And then I picked up Homunculus Volumes 2, which includes volumes 3 and 4. This is so thick. I forgot how thick these volumes are. But there's only like a couple of these omnibuses. I think two more or three more um but yeah i really like the netflix adaptation and seven seas did a good job actually on these they are a little bit pricey but they're 27.99 and last but not least i get these volumes once in a blue moon and that is the legend of doro and hakimaru this is one of my favorite all-time animes i really love it and it's been forever since i have been collecting this series this is the first volume, and let me see when this was printed. In June 2020, so it's been three years. <laughs> a little more than three years. And we've gotten six volumes. I don't know what volume they're up in Japan, but uh, if you don't know, the original Dororo is um, by Tezuka. Um, I own that volume as well. It's like a big, chunky volume. Um, but yeah, really like this series. Don't know when it's gonna end in English, but always get happy when I get another one of these volumes. I really want the Yakimato scale figure and Android so bad, but <laughs> a little bit on the pricey side. Uh, that was it for the haul for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what volumes you guys picked up this month, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!